What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Let's go, girl. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> mm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but... Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... Uh, he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. Hold. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. What do you think? There's some blood here. That ain't good. You see anything there? Gone. Big struggle. Pretty recently, mm, I'd look, say. I guess tracks. maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Oh, 
Come on, girl. They went down. Path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the... ...best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar... I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special... They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> We're, uh... We're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> ah, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here! Come in! Son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let's go. Yeah. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal, just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. 
but he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's a special talent, keeping fish on the line. Must be it. Easy. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Go deal with them, my brothers! Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. See something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. You see anything? Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Shots are coming from that barn. Come on.
for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> Sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. you well it looks like you boys had some trouble <sighs> yeah we had some trouble bad trouble what you want oh i was supposed to meet some business partners here they arranged a meeting i believe fellow with a scar and a mexican yes sir out by the stables i think thank you and uh sorry for your troubles friend Everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attacked my fields. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. 
And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. That's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking.
Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs, looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs, available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. <gasps> ah, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa. Easy Whoa. now. Easy. Whoa now. Easy. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the staff. That's it, boy. Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop!
This way. Come on. Come on now. Yep, yep. Yeah. Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Now, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, 
I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adjusco boys on the road in the town, and things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Yep. Let's go then. You know, I've been fighting Combe for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had... Pinkerton's coming after us because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look. You ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over... Me? I would walk into hell itself. As would I. From the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Ugh. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. 
got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yep. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Sense. <clears throat> Handing them over to the law, it's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum right, we can draw them all back. True. <clears throat> Where'd Colum and Patrick head off to? <clears throat> Miss Han, I think, to speak to the law. That. He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got him! I got him! <clears throat> 
Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Finally! Put his weapons over there! For Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Ain't nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Comb. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Uh, Six point cabin. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Comb. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs>
Mexico. I want to go home. Home! Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? <clears throat> <clears throat> 